Hi, NT Society! Welcome back to the NT Social Planet. Today we are checking out some more Bleach Thousand Year Blood War arc, and we have, I feel like, a, a lot coming. I don't know if we're gonna get to it in this season. I don't really know what the end of this arc is gonna be because it, I realize now that I'm getting close to what the end of this is going to be, which makes me nervous because I feel like if I can't see what the end is gonna be, it's gonna be something that shocks me. But we finally had Ichigo rejoining everything that was happening after free falling for what felt like forever uh rejoining with orihime and sedo which i love i love getting to see them all together again unfortunately it meant an encounter with uryu who's still playing the say nothing and vanish into thin air act which is just incredibly frustrating i want him to just be with his friends and stop making decisions that don't make any sense to me i'm still holding up the hope that he has some kind of plan in place but at the moment we're fighting some zombies which is a thing that we're doing right now, I guess. And one of them is Toshiro, which stresses me out. That's probably going to be what we're dealing with in this episode. So let's just get into it, I guess. In three, two, one, go. I don't know what I'm about to walk into, but it's not going to be good. Oh, I love getting to see <laughs> characters returning. That's the only good thing about this whole zombie thing. Returning characters. It's probably true, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's like, hey, but also thanks. <gasps> You better not hurt him. Oh, I don't know who to cheer for now. <gasps> oh, uh, like I don't want them to hurt Shiro, but also Ikage. Oh, did he? Does he have a shard of ice on his knee? <sighs> oh, I'm already like, I'm already like. <laughs> Rest, hang on. I'm just gonna get my Toro for moral support. The sass. Oof, you've come to the wrong party then. I kind of love that they made his eyes like really like this deep purple. Oof. Oh, I don't know who to cheer for anymore. <laughs> Ooh, the like wheezing noises. Are they gonna fight? I don't think I'd ever get a Mayuri Toshiro fight. I'm sorry. Since when? <laughs> Are you wanting to try these drugs to help him out of the zombie thing? Or are you just wanting to test these drugs and you're like, well, he's not going to argue with me now. I never know what to... <laughs> know which which way we're gonna swing with Mayuri. <laughs> oh, I'm so conflicted. Because, like, on the one hand, I'm like, oh, if they're gonna fight Toshiro, if it had been anyone else, I'd be like, they're gonna make sure they don't hurt him. 
because they said that he got turned to a zombie before he'd actually died. So there's still a way of like reversing it. But the fact that he's up against Mayuri makes me think that we won't get the same restraint. <laughs> like, I don't know if Mayuri cares that much. As opposed to some of the other captains. <sighs> I'm already stressed. Like, <laughs> three minutes in and I'm just like, hugging my Totoro. <laughs> And trying to, to figure out how we're going to get out of this. <laughs> they will. We can't lose Shiro. I like him too much. That being said, I have had this show make me cry on multiple occasions because of characters <laughs> getting injured or killed in some way. It's gonna be a cool fight, though. I feel like also there's something different about like Toshiro's power in this form because he doesn't have the restraint that he usually does. Oof, all of them? It's cool that he's using the ice as like a blade, like his knee though. I almost felt like he wasn't actually going to get a hit in with Mayuri, but... Ooh, are we starting? Is this him, like, predicting stuff? Or are we resetting the timeline? How are you still talking after that? Oh, this is so interesting. The like loop of it. And he keeps like repeating the same words. Does that have something to do with the drugs we're talking about? Mmm. It's a good incentive to not get killed. I mean, defeat is not the same as kill. I feel like Mayuri must know that better than most people.
Oh, that's a scary image. I mean, I feel like it shouldn't be introduced to the market at all. It's a good question. When did it happen? Ooh. Oh my god, why did you get him in the neck? Does it? I don't believe you. Oh, I'm very disturbed. Oh, we're holding on that shot. I was wondering where they were. I don't like this. <laughs> I've always been like, maybe he's a very uncomfortable character to be around. But at least before he was like, somewhat filtered because of like ratings and stuff. Whereas like this series does not have the same censorship. <laughs> and I feel like maybe he's just on like a different level. Uncensored. <laughs> He's been through a lot. He's also a bit of a perfectionist, I feel like. Thank you for the break from all of the disturbingness that was happening, though. <laughs> I may regret saying that later on, but at the moment, I'm like, all right. <laughs> Seems a bit fanatical, but all right. Dang. The contrast of those two colors, though. The, like, pinks and purples with the, like, greens and blues. That must suck, though. Like, all of the blades. That'd be an awful way to go. Good job, though. Ugh. Not really. He's definitely different now. <laughs> He's like, I took down one. <laughs> it's not just like Captain Lieutenant, though. It's like the difference between being up where Squad Zero is and being like the other captains. Uh oh.
did he actually defeat one of them then, or does he just think he did? Uh oh. Oof. This all happening with this music going on? <laughs> oh. It's true, go to the source. Yeah, definitely don't get hit with that. Though seeing Byakuya be a fool to love would be very amusing to me. Oh, no. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, because they do have, like, entities in them. That's terrifying. Oh. <gasps> I think it's interesting. Ooh. Did it work? Interesting that he said like he hesitated to break it. He's like, even love in his case made him hesitate. Right? He's talking about like separating himself from love, but it did make him choose his actions. I'm very distracted by this whole Cupid thing that's going on. Oof. Interesting that's like that side though. He keeps getting hit on his right side and it's not working on him. Why? Zombies? <laughs> Oof. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh. Does Mayetti have control of them now? I feel so bad for them just being like, controlled and like passed from one person to the next. I always said bodily fluids. I'm like, Ugh.
Will you? I was wondering that. I'm like, their their skin, like, their complexion is different. I didn't know if that was, like, intentional or they were just doing that to, like, make them distinguishable from their normal forms. Me neither. <laughs> I don't know if that's curing them. Wouldn't it be better to make them not zombies? Yeah, oh my god, that is also an option, I guess. I would prefer that they lived and had their own autonomy, but... I mean, if they are dead, then they don't have a soul for you to control and corrupt. Oof. <laughs> one way to describe it. I want to know what's going on with Byakia, though. True. They do tend to fight each other, don't they? Do I want to know? Probably not. <sighs> that episode stressed me out because I didn't know who to cheer for. And I still don't know. Because I don't really know what happened. Because we haven't seen Toshiro. Or Matsumoto. So I'm assuming that something else has happened with them. I can't, it's like all the way back where I'm like, oh, if it was anyone else going up against Toshiro, I'd be like, oh, they're going to figure out a way to heal him, get him back to normal, not hurt him. But because it's Meiyuri, I'm like, I have no idea. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm in denial that any of them are actually dead, though. Because I refuse. I know there's probably, like, bigger consequences for this season than in previous ones. Um, but I will remain in denial until... I see it happen. I know probably some of the characters have been brought back just for this moment, but... We're getting through these Quincy's, though. They tend to off each other a lot more often than I would... I would think. Doesn't really bode well for, like, a coherent hole. I kind of like that that cloud looked a bit like a heart like following that motif. <laughs> you could have just knocked. Just saying. Yeah. 
And they got some kind of plan. They wanted this to happen. I don't know why, but I don't trust Squad Zero. Oddly profound. Oddly disturbing episode, though I feel like not the most. I think that the most disturbing award still goes to the one with the, the fear and all that. That was probably the worst, like the sound effects you- ugh. But this one, definitely disturbing. And with Mayuri too, like, I, I kind of got lulled into this false sense of security with Mayuri because he's kind of been playing by the rules a little bit more. He's not like a central character. We haven't really dealt with him and his character in the, the forefront since all the way back in Soul Society arc when Uryu first met him. And that was kind of where Mayuri was like at the forefront of the storytelling. We actually dealt with like him on a few more levels than just like that crazy scientist guy that makes everyone uncomfortable. So I got kind of lulled into the sense of like, he's probably not that bad. He still freaks me out and makes me uncomfortable and I wouldn't want to be anywhere near him, but like, at least he's on our side. And now I'm like, is he? Is he though? Because uh, I know that probably whatever he did to Toshiro is like probably for like the better option than just like letting him be a zombie for the enemy and be used to like kill and horribly maim all of his friends. I feel like maybe he could have like taken less fascination from it. Like there was just something like very unfeeling about him for the whole thing that puts me on edge. I wouldn't expect much better from Mayuri, but I'm just like... Ooh, like it, it makes me think that for all of the kind of image that Soul Society has put together and granted, everyone kind of has their own motivations for being in Soul Society and no one really like links up entirely with each other and what motivates them and what drives them to be like Soul Reapers. But they kind of have like a collective image under Soul Society. And I feel like this is showing that it's starting to crumble, not just with them like fighting against each other, but the fact that they're willing to do all these ruthless things. Like they haven't been at war this way in a really long time, I feel like. Like we had stuff going on with like Aizen and all of that in previous seasons but it, it's not to this kind of scale like this is going i feel all the way back to the kind of brutality that they had that resulted in them completely wiping out all of the quincy's i feel like that is the soul society that we're seeing and that's what's making me uncomfortable like it's not just like oh mayori is doing like really creepy experimental things on people that are supposed to be his friends work colleagues they're supposed to at least be on the same side. I feel like what makes me the most uncomfortable is that we're seeing that darker side of soul society that we've heard about and people have like alluded to and like we know that they committed a genocide, but that's not a thing that we've had to like witness. We're like, oh, not our soul society, right? Whereas like now it's starting to show and that's what's making me like the most on edge. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know anymore, but it looks like maybe we're going to be getting into possibly some of the stuff going on with Squad Zero. I don't know how much of that though, because I feel like it might be giving away what Squad Zero is. God, I don't know what the end of this part is going to be, and that's what makes me so on edge, but I hope you enjoyed watching that along with me. You can click this playlist to go see my previous reactions, or you can subscribe to so miss next time I post a Bleach reaction, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!